Hello, how's it going guys? It's Bex and welcome back to another video. I hope you're all having a great day and in today's video is something ever so slightly different. We're going to be talking about the brand new Rafael Guerrero card. Sorry if I butchered it, I'm not 100%. It looks like Guerrero, so I'm guessing, but there is an I in there, so not sure. But either way, 4 star, 5 star. I'm pretty sure he did have a 2 star weak foot and I think he might have only even had 3 star skills if I'm being honest. But he's had a massive upgrade and for the price you're going to have to pay for this card, it's, a, it's, it's definitely worth it in my opinion. You can see I've played with him a bit, he's been alright. Uh, one or two of those games might have been in squad battles, I think for the most part it was rivals. And then, yeah, general good card. So, following this clip I'm going to be going straight into a game and there's going to be clips put in of that game. And over that I'm just going to be talking about the card and why I recommend this card to you. Okay, so starting off, I must say, the thing that makes this card so great, in my opinion, is the minimal price you're going to have to pay for it. 38.5k, he currently is based on footbin right now, but over the coming days, that will only drop with stuff like lightning rounds coming out, and especially if you buy him at the right time. Honestly, I believe you can get him for as close to 30k at some point or another, and honestly, if you're thinking about investments, that card will probably rise as well at some point or another, because his ultimate screen card is actually one of the most used left midfielders in the game. So, yeah, if you want to make some coins, it's another reason to pick him up. Anyway, following on from his incredible price, something that matches up perfectly to this is these insane stats considering the price of this card. For example, he's got 91 uh, base dribbling on the card, and in within this, he's got 94 agility, 93 balance, 87 reactions, which is really important in a game like this. 91 ball control, 91 dribbling and 89 composure. Personally, my favourite out of those two has to be the dribbling and the balance and the agility. Overall, because obviously like the quote-unquote key dribbling stats, if that makes sense, the ones that you can't really look past. Uh, reactions and composure some people may look past, but with the agility and particularly the balance, he's able to like just weave in between defenders so well. Something that I kept doing personally was whenever I got down the right hand side, I'd always try and cut inside by doing a lack of care and I'd always be able to find that gap in between two defenders and he'd never fall because of that balance. He'd never start to stumble or anything due to his agility and he'd be able to shrug off the defenders nearby him and always manage to get a shot off. That is, when he does get his go on this game, that kind of has a bit of correlation to that as well. Honestly, I'm pretty sure his assist even came from a sort of similar move as well. On the other hand though, I can see some reasons why people may be reluctant to buy this card. For example, he only has 80 base finishing and 79 sprint speed. But, total with acceleration, he's got 93 acceleration. And in my opinion, acceleration is a lot more important than sprint speed. And something that actually helps improve that sprint speed that makes him feel and seem a lot quicker is that agility and balance. So it kind of balances itself out. So he is a fairly quick player. And then with the finishing, just slap a, slap a Ken style on him. 80 is not the end of the world. You use players with a lot worse. You know what I mean? So slick a Ken style on him. And if you are really can't put up with that sprint speed, you can't put up with that finishing, you've got the perfect thing. I don't know, a Hulk, a Hunter. Maybe not a Hunter because of the price of those now. But you get the point that I'm making. You can easily adapt and make him better in those positions. So it's not the end of the world when it comes to these things. Anyway, now moving on, I'm actually going to compare Guerrero to another foot birthday card that has recently come out. This being Kareem Bellarabi. Although Bellarabi is a free card at the moment, thanks to him being in a objectives, which I am thinking about doing a video on. If you are interested, please be sure to let me know down in the comment section down below. I've nearly completed him now, so yeah. Anyway, I'm comparing him because I reckon he'll be a very similar price to the likes of Herving Lozano, who's also out at the moment, who's around 100k. I reckon Bellarabi might even be more. And then when you actually look at the stats of these two players, Guerrero maybe even beats Bellarabi. He at least is his equal. Like for example, his total stats, he beats Bellarabi by 11. In game stats, he beats him by over 100. And then obviously pace, it goes to Bellarabi. But like I said, Guerrero's got that agility which makes up for it. And if you look at the likes of Bellarabi's agility, Bellarabi doesn't have as good agility. Uh, he's very close, but on the other hand, his balance is a lot worse, and I've, I think that'd be a big, big issue for Bellarabi in comparison to Guerrero, which is actually one of his best strengths. And then also, Bellarabi has a lot worse composure, so if you're thinking about this, these are both two Bundesliga options, maybe not on the same side, but you might be playing them on the same side. 
personally I play Guerrero as a right attacking midfielder in that 4-2-3-1 and honestly if I bring Bellarabi in I can't see that changing he'll probably end up having to go to the left because at the moment I'm using Jao Victor and then honestly he'll just get he'll get put away he's been okay but it's just it's just a placeholder for Bellarabi at the moment as you can see Guerrero did just score and as you can see see I did do that that croquetta move that I kept talking about how he just managed to stay on his feet and keep that balance Anyway, in case you are interested, I'm actually going to compare him now to Kingsley Coman, one of the high-rated left midfielders in the Bundesliga. Guerrero actually has 150 more in-game stats than him, there or thereabouts. Then he also has 23 more total stats. And Kingsley Coman, 3-star weak foot. Guerrero, 5-star. Big difference, right? And once again, Guerrero smashes Coman for composure. He beats him for agility and balance. Honestly, he might be a rating lower but I know which card I'm picking. He is just the better option. Anyway, this is really all I have got to say about this Rafael Guerrero card. If you do want to see more videos like this, please be sure to let me know down in the comment section down below so I know what sort of content you guys like to see. So anyway, please like and subscribe, and until next time, bye-bye.